Hey guys, here's another tutorial on Final Cut Pro X and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do some um, basic uh, keyframing and uh, we're going to do an effect where we're also going to synchronize up together um, two pieces of, of, of video and fade between them um, seamlessly without you actually uh, realizing. So we're going to transition the video from color to black and white and then back to color um, using some keyframing. So I've got a, a, a piece of video footage here that we'll just insert to our project. There it is. And what I want to then do is, is add to this, above it, exactly the same piece of video. So I select it and I hit the Q button and you'll see now we've got it uh, laid on top of each other and it's magnetic as I explained in previous tutorials so we can drag this around but we don't want to we want to keep these two pieces of video perfectly synchronized so they will actually both be displaying the same thing and then what we're going to do with our first uh, um, video or our, our upper video which is overlaid is we're going to want to actually make that into black and white so We'll go to our color correction and we'll decrease the saturation completely and that gives us the black and white effect. So if we were to play this now, we would see the whole video is actually all in black and white, which uh, isn't exactly what I want. So we'll go back to the uh, properties panel of uh, and to get that up just in case you haven't got it displayed you just select here the um, the inspector and we select the uh, video track that we want to edit and here there's a bunch of different uh, things and at the bottom you'll find in comp composite uh, compositing is the opacity setting and if we drag this down to zero it will actually make the uh, opacity zero which makes it transparent it makes it see-through so our upper video which we've now uh, desaturated to make it black and white is now also displaying um, um, clear it's got zero opacity so you can't see it so now if we play the video footage it's back in color again because all we can see is our main track because this upper track is actually hidden now because it is transparent. So we're going to do some keyframing. So we're going to um, add a keyframe for this property, the opacity. So we drag our slider all the way to the beginning and our opacity is set to zero and we keyframe it here. Now we drag along a little bit. Let's go say to here and we will add another keyframe. Our opacity still set to zero. Then we drag on a little bit further and what we will do now is we'll increase our opacity to 100% and you'll see we get our black and white image back. So between here and here we're going to fade, you see, from color the black and white and all we're actually doing is fading in our upper track so once it goes black and white now we want to fade back out of it again so we'll scroll along let's say to here we add another keyframe with our opacity at hundred percent and we'll drag along to here and we'll drag our opacity back to zero so it will then fade from black and white back into color so if we just wait for that to render out and our orange bars to disappear and we play this again you see we have the fade into black and white and the fade back out to color and then just to clean this up a little bit we can um, remove the beginning section of the track which we don't actually need so we come to our, um, our ripple editor and when we select that you see our screen splits so the track on the right is the one which we're actually dragging here and uh, at the moment the opacity is set to zero so it's currently showing nothing. 
You'll see if we drag it far enough along, it will eventually begin to show the black and white. So there we go. So we can drag this just to where it starts to transition. So just around here. And at the end here, we can also drag it back again to where it turns back to black. And there we go. So that is basically how we synchronize up two pieces of video, but we change the properties of, of one of them, in this case, the color saturation, so that we get it in black and white. And then we did some keyframe animation on the opacity in order to um, animate it from being 100%, um, uh, sorry, zero to 100% and then back to 100% opacity. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, that basically is, uh, is it for this tutorial. Uh, you can keyframe any of these other properties here, rotation, scale, etc. And um, we'll be doing those in some other tutorials. So that is how you keyframe the opacity and uh, how you can synchronize up two video clips so uh, you can fade between one and the other without them actually realizing that you're, you're switching from one video clip to the next. If you wanted to tidy this up uh, even more, you could actually select this and uh, make a right click and you can create a new compound clip from this which we could call um, black and white fade. And that actually then cleans up our timeline a little bit. So we've created a compound clip so that uh, now shows up here. So the compound clip is obviously a combination of the two clips edited together how it was before. You can see here now in our timeline, we can see the the whole thing from color to black and white and back out to color again. And it's just one uh, clip being displayed in our timeline. But it's actually a compound of the two clips. And if you were to double click on that, you'll see it opens up the compound clip. So we can uh, edit them again if we wanted to um, move that around. But obviously that would put the videos out of sync. Um, and when you're done editing with that, you can just um, skip back and we'll go back to our main storyline where we just displayed a compound clip. So it stops our um, timeline from becoming very messy if you've got lots of um, stacked and um, parent and child magnetized um, um, sequences. It just creates it a little bit cleaner for you. So there's an, just another little tip on creating compound clips. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next tutorial.